that's the stuff ladies and gentlemen some orange juice well fizzy orange juice whatever let's get to the point of this video we all know as fans the nostalgia critic is dead wait is he wait where is he um well he's spiritual he's a ghost I guess that technically makes him dead huh or maybe it's some sort of Mass Effect 3 in ending who knows it looked like it especially with blue eyes and and the electricity up the arm and all that but I'm getting completely off topic here for about the past month or I think or two weeks I'm really I'm really not sure I'm, I, I lose perception of the time without the critic to guide me but <clears throat> Doug announced that it was the end of the nostalgia critic and on that day I cried like a little girl Nah, I'm just kidding. I didn't cry like a little girl, but I was a bit upset that one of my, one of those people I aspire to, and, well, yeah, that you might, you could argue it's not the most healthiest since he is a drug addict, an alcoholic, likes to shoot people, and is an all-round masochist. But, I love him. I mean, he, he was a great, he's a great reviewer. He's a great reviewer, not like, but hack AVGN. No, um, being serious though, I don't mind either of them. Um, I'm just, uh, I was just making a joke there, but anyway, some more orange. Now, Dog made a video either a month ago or two weeks ago. I'm still not sure about what the future of Channel Awesome was going to be. And he said that he was going to make a new show called Demo Reel. And the concept, well, he didn't exactly reveal the concept for this show, but he did reveal they would have a set, something new for Channel Loss, and they would actually have a fucking set. They would have characters, they would have multiple characters, they would be taking newer movies, not just nostalgic ones, and uh, giving them a whole new, like, turn and stuff like that, and I thought, that sounds brilliant, I mean, it, 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 it does sound, it sounds like a good direction to move in, um, I mean, you had the confines of the critics' one space, uh, other than his house and his, um, and his garden and his um, office. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, office. Um, just hold up the three fingers there in front of the camera. Um, so those we previously we've been confined to pretty much that, apart from in the uh, the anniversary specials where. Uh, but I'm not sure if I can really count those because uh, they are basically uh, that guy with the glasses year anniversary and have all the characters from that go with the glasses in it so I don't know if I can count that but I don't mind I'll, I'll count it anyway um, so anyway um, we I'm was I was just so hyped I cannot tell you that I've been hyped for anything more Well, if you wanted one thing this year that I was really hyped for, it was The Dark Knight Rises, and that, that movie really disappointed me. So, this is the other thing I've really been looking forward to, Demo Reel. Demo Reel, wow, great, great title, you don't know what there is, what it's going to be, you don't know the characters, you don't know anything about it except what Doug says that they've got a set and they're making a new internet series well I was just so hyped for this film I cannot tell you how hyped I was for this film for this film though internet series 
And um, yesterday, the trailer came out. Now it was just like, and to give you an accurate interpretation. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! 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 So let's continue. Uh, that was my accurate interpretation of what it felt like to see a trailer. And I thought to myself, oh yeah man, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. It's going to showcase what the show is about. And it's going to have some funny characters, some like funny little lines in there, you know, just to, just to spice things up. And uh, it's going to be brilliant. And I can announce... That this trailer was okay. Yeah, uh, the trailer was okay. Um, the editing was okay. The acting was okay. The comedy was okay. The set design was okay. The premise was okay. There are not enough words to describe how disappointed I am. But if I could describe it, I would say it's the same feeling every critic had when they went and saw Dark Knight Rises. And particularly Doug's reaction to that. This, this is so underwhelming. Especially, I mean, it's going to be hard to top the critic. Of course. Of course! But, yeah, it's going to be difficult to top the critic in terms of the size of his show, the size of, like, his fans, and uh, the fans of Nostalgia Critic, and how many of them will probably will never even see Demo Reel, um, just because it's not Nostalgia Critic. Um, I mean, it's never going to top that. But, in all honesty, this was just so underwhelming. And by the end of the show, look, I can't remember anything. I can remember there's three characters. There's the director, the writer, and the actress. I can remember seeing Spider-Man and the Joker and Batman in there at some point. But the rest is just like, no, I can't remember it. Because the trailer, I'm sorry, the trailer's okay, but it's not well done, it's not done well enough to get us hyped. You build up all this goddamn hype for us to see this new show which Doug Walker will be making and Doug Walker's a goddamn funny guy even some of his worst stuff it made me laugh a little help Melvin the Joker made me laugh a little okay by how bad it was this this is just okay come on Doug you're better than this it, it, it just, I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that trailer. It was just like, he's gone from the Nostalgia Critic to this? I mean, but obviously, I'm going to watch the first episode of the show, and I'm going to probably watch, um, and I, with, with TV and internet shows, I usually have a limit. If I find the show is funny, or I like it, or whatever, I'll keep watching it. And I have, like, I, I'll go through the whole first series. No joke. Go through the whole first series. Unless, uh, by episode 5, I think it's just absolutely bland and boring, which is why I didn't watch Spooks Code 9. But, um... Anyway, this is like... I can't describe it. It's just... Wow. I mean... He... He... Here's a man who's made, like, a living out of this one character who was so funny. He's inspired people. 
I mean, wow, it's just like, you know, the amount of, the, the way that people reviewed on the internet after Nostalgia Critic and uh, in Angry Video Game Nerd, you know, it wasn't, it was never the same afterwards. You know, it was like, uh, it was a revolutionary in internet reviewing to make a character and go absolutely balls out. Um, say this, whatever you want about the movie. Brilliant. I mean, you know, it's just... I've got to have some more issues. What I just said, those five things I said when I said the trailer was okay, about what was okay, should have been done better. And, you know, it's... It's just like... What? It's just disappointing. And hopefully the show doesn't suck. But, you know, I'm I'm I, I, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to like envision this show and what it'll be about. Um and also that's another thing, the concept. It's be kind please rewind all over again. Remaking the movie. Except in that movie, it was hilarious. It was hilarious and showed you how independent filmmakers struggle to make this one film. But by the end of it, they don't care about what the end product looks like as long as they got it made and had put love and compassion into it. This, it, it, this is made by a professional on the internet who spent so much time so much time Doug and Rob spent so much time on this one project and it's like I don't know the best way I can describe it other than my disappointment with The Dark Knight Rises is it's kind of a kick in the it's kind of a kick in the balls this trailer is kind of a kick in the balls um, but you know, if, uh, hopefully, if the product is, if the end product is good, and I'm hoping it is, then I suppose you could, you'll be able to call it a kick in the balls, followed by somebody giving you some, some septic cream to help you, to help your balls, like, get better if you get what I mean there um, I don't really have any more to say I just uh, as I said before found it really disappointing and you know um, yeah I'm shut up Cleggy this is this was my review of the demo reel trailer. Um, subscribe up there, up there. See my finger. Woo! Subscribe up there. Like down there and post comments. Uh, toast comments down below. And I really hope you don't take that seriously. <sighs> Goodbye.